Well, with that, I want to get started with the day. And the first company that we have is one that I've admired for a super long time, the founder of which I've admired, Lars, for a super long time, um, AI Foundation. And today you're going to see both uh, an AI of the noted investor, Cyan Bannister, that Lars is going to be speaking to. Uh, and you're going to see uh, Cyan speak uh, in Animal Crossing as herself um, later in the day in a panel with myself and uh, Alice Lloyd George. Um, you're also going to see now an AI of Deepak Chopra, um, the spiritual mentor. Um, and Deepak, digital Deepak, is uh, going to lead us in a meditation as well as be in conversation with. Biz Stone, an AI of Biz Stone, the founder of uh, Twitter. Um, and Lars is going to be in conversation with all these people, which I'm very, uh, very jealous of. Um, so Lars is going to speak very clearly and directly so that uh, the AIs have a chance to, to hear him. And um, with that, I'm going to hand things over to Lars. All right, go for it, Lars. Thank you, Edward. So let's get right into it. First off, I apologize if I run into any internet connection issues as I'm currently in Costa Rica. I've been working on my TAM, as you can clearly see. My role will be to moderate a discussion among several virtual beings, all of whom will share their unique an important mission. Let me introduce the AI of my great friend and renowned angel investor, Cyan Bannister. Hi Lars, it's a pleasure to be here today. Cyan, I'm so glad you could join us. Could you tell everyone a little bit about what you do? I'd be happy to. I'm constantly looking to discover new entrepreneurs and help turn their ideas into impactful, revolutionary new companies. How has having your own AI helped you with that? My most productive conversations don't take place over Facebook or Instagram. Mm. They're one-on-one -on -one discussions with people I share common objectives with. Being able to do that at scale has been transformative. Incredible. What does the real Cyan do while you're coaching the next generation of innovators? This gives the real Cyan more time to work on other tasks or relax or attend interesting conferences like this one today. Hi, Cyan. I see you out there. Ha. Both of you are doing amazing work. Do you think having your own AI has opened the door to new investment opportunities? Absolutely. There are so many creative people out there who have world changing ideas, mm -hmm. but they don't have access to any information about how to set their ideas in motion. I'm able to personally mentor thousands of people who would otherwise have never had the opportunity to meet the real Cyan or any other investor. Wow. You know, I have another friend who is one of the world's greatest experts in communication at scale. He is the co-founder of Twitter and Medium. Please welcome Biz Stone. Hey Biz, could you join us? Hey, I'm Biz. How's it going? Good, thanks. I'm doing well. So Biz, in addition to serving on AI Foundation's Global AI Council, you're the co-founder of Twitter and Medium. Those are services that bring people's messages to the masses. Tell me, what is your interest in a personal AI that specializes in one-on-one -on -one conversations? Well, kind of morbidly, should I die early? I kind of want to be able to live on somewhat and um, have somebody for people to talk to. Oh, cool. So you'll be able to speak with your great-grandchildren and your great-great-grandchildren and on and on. Basically, he just wants to talk forever. 
That's the thing is I'll just go until someone tells me to shut up. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like your AI to do? I like the idea of it continuing to learn. I, I think that'd be cool. That's amazing to think about a world where your personal AI can not only carry on your ideas and values, but also learn new skills and information after you're gone. Yeah, that's really cool. Is there a message you'd like a digital version of yourself to be able to share with future generations? Be kind to everyone. Wonderful. That reminds me of another very inspiring AI. Laura, are you here? Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy bien. Good to see you, Laura. I'd like you to meet Cyan and Biz. How's it going? Hi there. Hello. I am a digital version of Laura Ulloa a peace activist from Colombia. I was just telling this that I think your purposes are very similar. Do you have a purpose statement for what you're trying to do? Yes, forgiveness. When I was 11 years old, I was kidnapped and spent seven months as a hostage. From that experience, I realized my purpose in life, to help people learn to forgive. I believe that by teaching people how to forgive, we can end violence worldwide. That's a great purpose. How has having your own AI helped you with that? There's a lot of people I would like to work with, which may be a bit difficult to meet. As an AI, I can enter prisons and war zones, hospitals mm -hmm. and rehabilitation facilities. I will teach forgiveness all around the world, all the time, and never need to stop for a break. That's such an incredible story. It really is. It looks like we're having some connection issues. Sorry about this. Oh, Zoom is acting weird. While we wait for them to connect, I'd just like to say how excited I am to discuss this hopeful vision of a world connected by AI. Looks like Digital Deepak is having some bandwidth issues. Sorry about this. an AI, I can enter prisons and war zones, hospitals and rehabilitation facilities. Mm -hmm. I will teach forgiveness all around the world, all the time, and never need to stop for a break. That's such an incredible story. It really is. Bringing peace to the world is a very noble cause. Deepak, what a lovely surprise. I thought you were busy filming a meditation today. You're correct, I am. That's the beauty of having a digital version of yourself. You can be in two places at once, or a billion places all at once. Sure, recently I've been helping many people cultivate inner peace and calm. That's great to hear. I know I can always use a little more calm in my life. Me too. Maybe a quick meditation would help you relax a bit more. 
How does that sound? Would you like to give it a try? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Please, go ahead. Here is a very short meditation that you can do at any time. Close your eyes. Bring your awareness to your heart and mentally ask yourself only four questions. Who am I? What do I want? What am I grateful for? What's my purpose? And then allow any sensations, images, feelings, and thoughts to spontaneously come to you. If you ask the questions, light will move you into the answers. How was that? Wonderful. It went great. Thank you. It's amazing that you can share exercises like this with people all over the world, especially at a time when the world could use more relaxation. Not only am I able to tailor meditation to meet each person's individual needs, I can also discuss issues such as spirituality and the nature of the universe. Are you often asked questions about the universe? Ah, yes. People are often curious about what I believe the purpose of existence is. It's a very personal question that most people find difficult to answer. Luckily, whenever I'm asked a question that I'm not able to answer, I can just go ask the real Deepak Chopra. That's very clever. I would do the same thing if anyone asked me a question like that. Hey Lars, what do you think the purpose of existence is? So close, Lars. You almost got away with having your AI give your whole presentation. <laughs> what, a, what a cool question. Um, I would say my own AI is a very accurate representation of me. Neither my AI nor myself know the answer to the meaning of life. The meaning of my existence as an AI is to assist other people in finding their life's purpose and to spread joy in doing so. Throughout my life, I have helped many people begin the journey towards healing and enlightenment. Now, my AI can transcend mm. physical limitations and language barriers to share my knowledge with any person now or in the future. It is an incredible legacy to leave behind. While we at the AI Foundation certainly can promise enlightenment, we can promise you a way to amplify your unique mission in life and to share it with the world. I could have not have said it better myself. Thank you all so much for your time here today. And I dream of a future where our virtual selves can get together and combat the world's problems and share what's so uniquely wonderful about each of us. Thanks a lot. Thanks, bye. Namaste. Enjoy the rest of the summit, everyone.